The cyclonic winds have decided to play spoil sport. It has not stopped pouring for two days. I have travelled a long distance to come and see Chilika today, but it seems that God has something else planned for us. On a clear day, on a sunny day, Chilika is really beautiful. But today it seems a bit grey, but in a very playful and adventurous mood. Spread over 1100 square kilometers, Chilika is Asia's largest brackish water lake. The water was exceptionally turbulent, but we rushed on, desperately trying to get to the interior of the lake. For the local fishermen, it was business as usual. After all, it's the only way to ensure a meal on the table. Chilika is famous for its prawns. In fact, they are exported to the world over. I have had little luck with fish, but may I try to be friends with a prawn at least? Finally, I found one who was friendly and didn't jump out of my hands. We visited the Kali Mandir Island in the lake. Thousands of colourful birds throughout the year, Shilika is noisy. The migratory birds descend on it from as far off as Siberia in winter. Though we were still outside the sanctuary area, but we could spot the birds. A Brahmani guide. We felt even the birds were a bit tired of the heavy winds, but not these seagulls. Fishing for food, they are hoping a lot from the nets put up by the fishermen. It's worth mentioning that Chilika is also famous for the Irrawaddy dolphins. We couldn't spot one, maybe because of their falling numbers. According to the government estimates, there are only 110 left. Commonly identified with bulging foreheads, the Irrawaddy dolphins are facing extinction. We reached the shore drenched and cold, but with a warm little feeling in our hearts that as long as these beautiful creatures are there, there is hope for our planet. Chilika is home to many endangered species like the Iravadi dolphins and God knows how many migratory birds. So if you are a nature lover and believe that a thriving ecosystem like Chilika needs to be preserved, you must vote for Chilika.